Hello and welcome to Endless Mode. This is Mysterious Gamer X. And I'm Captain Emoji, and we're here with Off the Hook for that so, thing we do. We all know what time it is. Good news, everyone. The Splatfest. For the last time. The Splatfest end all Splatfests. We need to end more than just Splatfests. Sorry, I'm getting a little dark over here. I'm a little worried. <laughs> oh, I mean, we could be fighting over the changes in a few voice lines. We might be fighting over the whole base plot of the next game. It's true. We might be determining who lives and who dies, or we might be determining... Uh, Cosmetics. Yeah. <laughs> just, just what the visual aesthetic of the next game is, but everyone's fine. You know, no pressure. Splatfest gods really pulled out all the stops. So are there Splatfest gods? Well, they get all their Splatfests from a defunct fax machine that they don't know what a fax machine is. They, plug, them, they plugged it in and it started printing everything out of memory. <laughs> so it gives them the fax. Yep. They refer to it as coming in from on high in the uh, Japanese version. That's exciting. Yeah, the god of fax machines. Off the lower... Off the hook lore. Oh, that's fair. They but, uh, they do they are at odds with the like the typical idol uh, model. That's definitely true. They are not idols. Uh, you know, if the first game was all about idol stuff, this one's definitely like counterculture, I guess. Yeah. And pop music is really stagnant these days. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad, but they're all... They all sound the same. Like, scientifically. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of individual talent there, but it is being aimed in a direction. I get you. Uh, well, I mean... She's pouring her heart out for you, Pearl. Oh, I, I realize you're trying to be... We're just dropping truth bombs. Yeah. But I think everyone's warmed up to Pearl for the most part. Like, Possibly. Based on the fan art and stuff. And, like, I would definitely admit that Marina was definitely the early favorite over here. But... Hey, that's fair. They are making a better case for this than uh, Civil War did in the Marvel comics. <laughs> oh, that's definitely true. Like, I could see a more even split on this. Uh... Oh, that's pulling out the big guns of Splatfest Law. Article 4 of Splatfest Law! Dun dun. That's. Last time you did that was ice cream versus cake. Oh right, that was the that was the uh, the demo Splatfest, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, we're Isn't gonna it figure out? it out during the. There's gonna be a bar napkin <laughs> plan. <laughs> How much you want to bet is inkling still impulsive. Uh, yeah. Like, I realize Marina wants to plan a thing, but it's really just gonna be the Octos. Working toward any sort of plans, you're not gonna, <laughs> you're not gonna rope in the inklings on that. But who knows? Maybe that'll be a good balance. I'm curious what the game will look like. What Splatoon 3 will look like, depending on who wins. Like, I mean, will we get like floating cities and stuff if Marina wins? True. And will just there, like, will there still be stores if Chaos wins? <laughs> Oh, there'll still be stores. Everything will be truck-based. Everything will be food trucks. 